The Minister of Information Affairs Ali Rumehi affirmed that the National Communication Center will assume its tasks once established and will be organized by the Royal Decree as a government body. He highlighted the completion of an integrated and equipped building with all the technical, technological and engineering capabilities as a headquarters building inside the ministry. The minister praised the cabinet meeting's decision to establish the center, which will help in collecting information, unify the government's media message and activate it internally and internationally. Under the patronage of His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism announced a holding Invest in Bahrain 2016 forum on the 2nd of November in Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center. Assistant Under Secretary for Industrial Development at the Ministry, Abdul Karim Al Rashid, reported that the Ministry has recorded and, and, and attracted 48 investment projects through Invest in Bahrain forums with a cost of more than 60 million Bahraini in the past five years. He added that these projects offered more than 2,000 job opportunities in different industrial fields. The forum will present a variety of projects in different fields, including a presentation on the strategic opportunities available to the private sector and associated with the Gulf Railway project. It also will include a presentation regarding investment opportunities and real estate investment in Bahrain. The Bahrain Authority for Tourism and Exhibitions, the BATE Chief Executive Officer, Sheikh Khalid bin Hamoud Al Khalifa, led Bahrain's delegation to the meeting of the GCC Undersecretaries in charge of the tourism portfolio in Riyadh. The preparatory meeting discussed ways of developing the tourism sector in the GCC member countries and achieving the preset strategic goals. BATE Chief Executive Officer said that the delegations were updated about Bahrain's preparation of programs marking Manama capital of the GCC Tourism 2016. He added that the meeting discussed the, at the elaboration of a joint strategy to develop the tourism sector and boost its contribution to the gross domestic product, the GDP, in the GCC member countries. Sheikh Khalid said that the meeting's outcomes and recommendations will be reported to the third meeting of their highnesses and tourism ministers in GCC countries, which will be held to achieve the best interest of joint Gulf action tomorrow. Southern Governor Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa announced today that camping season will officially kick off on, on November the 10th and last till March the 4th of 2017. Southern Governor added that Sheikh Nasser's weekly award for best camp, which aims at enhancing competition between campers to comply with camping regulations and keeping their safety, will continue this year. He added that electronic registration for the camping season 2016-2017 will start on October 20 third via applications or at the campus services center in Sakhir. Southern Governor said the total camping area is about 20 square kilometers and that insurance fees will be 150 Bahraini dinars. He called campers to preserve the environment and wildlife in Sakhir and to cooperate and comply with the regulations of the Supreme Committee for the camping season in order to maintain the security and safety of all. Alba managed to increase its overall sales and production for the third quarter of 2016 despite the low trend in oil and prices. Sales volume topped 246,293 metric tons, an increase of 7,431 versus 238,862 last year. Alba closed the third quarter of 2016 with its value-added sales averaging 58% of total shipments, while value-added sales stood at 55%. Alba's chief executive officer, Tim Murray, said Alba continues to raise the bar on operational performance amidst difficult market conditions.